Welcome along to this video walkthrough of our 2007 Atlas Nevada. It's a 28 by 12 two bed and it's got a uh, single glazing, a tiled roof and it's priced at 9985. Just always bear in mind as we look around the caravan that we could fit double glazing to any caravan on site here. On this sort of one with one exterior door, probably going to be in the region of about £1,500, but it is an option, so bear it in mind. If you like the layout but you want double glazing, it's not a problem, we can get that done. So, you join me in the living room area, we're going to have a quick look around, show the layout and the condition. As you can see on the right hand side here, we've got this fitted seating area, which is good ample seating for three or four adults. On my left hand side, we then have a dining area as well with matching upholstery and a freestanding dining table and stall. I quite like the layout of this one. It's only a 28 by 12, so obviously it's a shorter caravan. I just think they've made good use of the space, which is actually quite common for Atlas in this sort of aged static. We've got a gas fire unit over on my left hand side here, which is on the door side of the living room area. The gas fire has seen better days, fair bit of rust on the front. We would obviously test it and uh, see how the, the gubbins behind work in. If it's all okay, then great, we could tidy that front up. Or equally, obviously, we could replace the fire if need be, if it doesn't test okay. Or just the front of it to tidy it up if required. As you can see, we've got lots of window space. We've got this large window on the front of the caravan, plus also the window on the right-hand side there on the off side of the caravan. Plus, we then got these... Um, taller windows just in the front corner here um, so lots of glass in here to look at and get a nice open natural light feel in here which obviously is always important when you're in a space especially if it's a smaller space natural light will really help things just uh, keep things bright and airy and, and give the impression of things being bigger to be honest I think so as you can see uh, lots of window space got some additional storage over there in the corner as you can see with the drawers and the, the cupboard unit we do have a little bit of delamination on the top of the unit there but it's still hard there and I don't think it's going to be any issue at all but we have got a decent sized cupboard the door itself is delaminating as you can see with the front casing um, pretty much going to come off at some point just checking these drawers below um, drawers are okay, a bit better than the door, uh, but they are got a bit of delamination there. Um, so we'll leave things as they are and just see. Some customers uh, don't find that an issue, and others uh, obviously need a few bits and pieces done. So we're going to have a chat about that with the buyer and see what they'd like to do. Coming to the kitchen, then it's quite a nice layout here with the open plan kitchen with the sort of breakfast bar, sort of worktop bar there over to the dining area, as you can see. Nice and open plan. We've then got our gas oven, hob, and grill over there kitchen sink we've got space for a fridge on my left hand side and a space for a microwave above as well just checking on the cooker hood status there is no cooker hood it's just a dummy hood there um just to sort of make things look nicer we've also just turning to show you on my right here we've just got this shelving and cupboard space as well so lots of places where they sort of put that extra bit of storage and we've also got a couple of spotlights over the top there so um, just a few extra nice little bits and pieces throughout the caravan that I think just brings it up a bit. There's one exterior door that comes in here with it being a 2812 obviously usually they only have one that comes in here to this vinyled area. Should have said about the carpet vinyl through the kitchen and then carpet in the living room area carpet certainly you know a little bit faded and worn in a couple of places as you can see in the video but certainly nothing offensive it could certainly stay as it is if you would like it to carpet then through from this hallway bit through to the back where the bedrooms are that again same as the front really bit of bit of wear a few marks on it but certainly nothing offensive main bedrooms the bed up against this uh, offside wall there with the window on the rear got some decent cupboard storage over the top of the bed actually as you can see with the shelving plus bedside units as well so we've got quite a decent amount of space in here and then we've also got a good size wardrobe unit as you can see so with it being a shorter caravan sometimes they can lack a bit of storage space but like i said i think uh, atlas have done really well to maximize the space inside here Opening these units up just to show you, we've got the hanging rail that goes all the way across, and then we've also got a drawer unit on the bottom, as you can see. This was missing a mattress, so we've put up one of our recover mattresses in here, bagged up, as you can see. So that, of course, comes with the caravan. Coming out of here and going to the right here, I'll show you the twin room. So we've just got two singles in here, and then we've got some wall mounted cupboard storage as well as the wardrobe. So that's quite handy to have there. As you can see, you've just got the additional cupboard there. Not all caravans have that, in which case, if you don't have that, you've just got the wardrobe unit. So it's handy to have that as some additional storage and something I think you'd appreciate. Coming out of there, literally opposite, we've got two doors. So on my left hand side, closer to the main bedroom, we've got our shower unit. So that is our sink there and shower. So it's split the bathroom 
here. So the shower enclosure itself has a, a, a narrower door, as you can see it pivots from the right hand side, it's about shoulder width, but then the shower goes back quite far. So the shower itself is quite a deep, sort of long shower, rather than being wide. Needs a new shower riser bar there on there, which we need to fix, it's just been broken off. So we've replaced that, put a new one in there at some point, shower um, hose and all that sort of stuff. And then on my left hand side, obviously we've got the sink. There's a bit of staining down low by the shower, where I think it's just been leaking over a bit of time around the uh, the door there. We'll check that out. We can tidy that up around the bottom there. Obviously, we check all things like the floor. If you wanted to, just to note, if you wanted to have some um, vinyl flooring fitted in the bathrooms or in the shower room and the toilet room, then that is, of course, not a problem. We can do that here. Coming out of there, I'll then show you the toilet room, which, of course, has carpet. Again, not always the best thing uh, to have carpet in a toilet room, but that is a caravan thing from back in the day. Decent enough toilet room though, so as you can see your toilet room and your shower room split up so we've not got the one bathroom, we've got the two things. Just I suppose maximises the space for the rest of the caravan by having them split there. By the door here we do have a couple of cupboards, one's got the water heater in it as you can see, does our hot water and then the other one's just got some storage shelving for bits and pieces. So that's been the inside of the Nevada, I'm going to jump outside and show you the exterior. We are outside the Nevada, we have a tiled roof as I said at the beginning, we've got gutters running along both sides, there's those big windows across the front and side as I mentioned. Damage wise it's all fairly clean and tidy, needs a bit of a rub and a wash, but there's no real bad damage to talk about anywhere, there's a couple of little lumps and bumps around the place as you often find, rear corner trim here just needs flattening out, a little bit of uh, damage on the gutter just again it's aluminium so it just marks if it gets knocked it's going to bend a bit but nothing for the age of the caravan no serious damage anywhere to make you aware of all looks fairly decent needs a new door retainer on there that we will fit just dropping down and show you the chassis the standard painted chassis it's obviously had a bit of wear over the time but perfectly solid so whilst it's painted clearly not a galvanized chassis but the van is um, obviously a decent age now 17 years old so uh, you know chassis has been been in use for that time but there's no uh, nothing falling apart there nothing to worry about I would have said we'll check it over but uh, nothing to worry about um, so what has it been it's been a 2007 Atlas Nevada 28 by 12 two bed it's priced at 9985 like I said it's single glazed tiled roof we can get that double glazing fitted if you wanted us to come and have a chat about the work involved um, some nice big windows on there lots of natural light it's cold and rainy here so I'm going to go head back inside until next time give us a shout give us an email hopefully see you soon cheers